So good evening. Um, I am I am feeling sleepy. You know, really, when uh, you have a, a slight um, uh, what is it? A slight change of time. You actually really feel it. Eh? You feel it right now. I feel like I I I, I should be sleeping. My body is just so tired. I just want to sleep. But nonetheless, I uh, promise that I will come live at 20 hours tonight to talk about um, some of these issues. Um, I think let me let me even get uh, a, a Fanta. Let me get a Fanta. I've been drinking too much Fanta. I miss I miss I miss my home. Uh, I would have put, uh, you know, my eyes. Now, yeah. At no tired, you have become useless. See, you are now irrelevant. Tea. Uh, followers have dropped. Tea. What? 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 Let me tell you. Chirufatayali will never be irrelevant. He will never be irrelevant. That's why people talk talk about me. That's why you talk about me. You know, I'm I'm the only person that is going to unite Zambia because for me, I mean, it, it, I don't have a side. That's why you like to ask me why minina pesa. Where do you stand? Whatever, forget it. For me, where I stand is on issues. I look at the issues. It's not about the person. It's not about a... Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so for me, it is not about... No, you belong to uh, uh, HHE, you belong to uh, Edgar Lungu. No, it is about issues. For me, it is about issues. You know, I know right now a lot of people are saying, ah, no, a, a UPND is paying him. What, 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 what? Let me tell you a secret, right? Let me tell you a secret of life. If you want to succeed in life, because for me, as much as I have challenges, but certainly I am a success. For me, if I were to die today, I would, I would have achieved something. I have achieved something. I have achieved a lot in my life. Trust me, uh, it, it, my life is a panimba sailor. I only, I, uh, God has blessed me so much that now my life is is just a katushimba sailor. It's it's an overflow. It is an overflow. I have already achieved what I ever dreamed of when I was young. I really suffered when I was young. I never, never, never thought that one day I can even, uh, you know, even drive. Okay, the vehicle. Yes, I, I, I dreamt of driving a vehicle, but, but really, even just to live a certain life. I'm not saying it's a lot. No, no, no. It's nothing. It's nothing. I know a lot of you have got so much. You know, a lot of you have got so much. But for me, for me. Just for me to even, uh, uh, it, it, my biggest dream, trust me, my biggest dream ever in my life was just to get on a plane. That was my biggest dream. Each time I used to see a plane, I used to wonder, how, how do people feel flying in there? That's all. That's all. I'm a person that I was walking without shoes. I, never, I didn't have shoes in my early stages of life. I didn't have shoes. I never... Some of you went to school, you know, in a uniform, in a uniform, uniforms, the uniforms I used to go with, people used to give me those uniforms whereby, uh, you know, you somebody cannot can no longer use them. Those are the uniforms I used to get. Torn. When I passed to go to grade 8, my father went and bought me, you know, I remember that grey trousers. From Meni Masala. By that time, Meni Masala, that is the only place where we used to find second-hand clothes. My father went and bought these big trousers, second-hand, 
which was even torn behind and he had to come and reduce it and put a figamba kunuma. I didn't have a shirt. He couldn't afford to buy me a shirt. He gave me his white shirt. It was not even white. It was cream white. You know, but that is how I went to grade, to grade eight. My dream really was if I could buy a good shoe, you know, I, I really struggled. I, I was not so ambitious looking for something very big. That's why when I reached grade 12, when I reached grade 12, what I thought, you know, I said, thank God, let me just become a priest so that I can help other people. And that has been my life is to help other people. But look, I have helped so many. I'm not a person that is going to start embarrassing people to say that one, that one. I have helped so many. I have educated people. Educated people and they are living in their own homes. They are living. I have educated people myself with my money. I took people, a number of people, paid for their school fees and so on and so forth. I've done that. So I, I am a success as far as I'm concerned. I am a success. In the Nwafanta Nimba Sela, it is an overflow. It is an overflow. The point I'm trying to make to you is that, uh, you know, you, 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 you like to, hey, he, 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 this one is paying him, this one is paying him, whatever, whatever. And I'm telling you that no one pays you for that. Get this one from me. And I don't want any young person to be misled that you can live a life of Chirufatayari by politicians paying you. No. It, it won't work. It never works. There is no politician who is sitting there waiting to give you money. Nothing. It doesn't work out like that. It doesn't work out like that. Listen to me. It doesn't work out like that. No one wants to just give money. No one has money to just give out. There would have been no poor people. If people were freely giving out money just like that, they are giving it. There would have been no, no poor people. Why is it that we have people in the streets? Why is it that those people, they are not just going there to give them money? No, it's mouth for hire. It's mouth for hire. How many of you talk on social media? How many of you talk on social media? Why don't they come to you and give you? Eh? Why don't they come to you and give you? Certainly, I do struggle here and there. But my life is okay. My life is good. But don't get it. Don't ever think that it comes easy. My life doesn't come easy. My life doesn't come easy. My life comes with a lot of thinking. My life comes with a lot of hard work. And here is a secret which I want you, especially you on social media, and those of you who want to be, you know, to be in politics, set up your agenda. In everything that you do, set up your agenda. You set up your agenda. Come up with something yourself. And look for people who have interest to invest in what you're doing. That is how I live my life. I come up with the agenda myself. I come up with the agenda. And I invite those who, are, who have got common interest to invest in. That is what I do. It is as simple as that. Don't be cheated that that is paid by whoever. No, no one pays me. There is a difference whereby somebody comes say, Oh, Tayari, hey, can you now start talking about this, this, this? It doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen like that. Why don't they call you? Why don't they call you and say, hey, you were Tampokula and the body fine 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 and we are going to give you so much money? Why don't they do that? Why don't they do that? You set your agenda. Set your agenda. Come up with something and let other people come and join me, join in. In I set up the agenda. And in, in Zambia, I set up the agenda. I set up the agenda and I run with it. This agenda of, of Alewerelapo, I started it. And a lot of you bought into it. It's me. 
It's me, Mufu Ikishe. It's me, first time who went to Kuriba Lungu to go and ask him to say, come back. It's me. First time. I set up the agenda. I went to Balungu to ask him, come back. It's me who set up the agenda. And when I went to him with this agenda, at that point, he, he entertained it. But later on, later on, he withdrew. Later on, he withdrew. I am the one who went to Balungu, coming up with an agenda. And I said, Ah, Taseva HH, of our HTF, because you know HH was not coming out good. He was not coming out good. And certainly HH has got serious weaknesses in his government, which frankly speaking, I mean he needs help. He needs help. This is a fact. So when I saw that HH was not doing was not ruling the country in the way that I thought he would, I went to Balungu. I went. Balungu didn't call me. It's me who went. Kuri Balungu. And I told him, Vakateka, Uyumuntuyu, Afirwecha Rech. Can you just come back? He told me, I'm not interested. Well, maybe I'll think about it like the way he said. Maybe I can think about it. But I could see that he wanted it. And I pushed. He came around to say, okay, he entertained it. He entertained the idea. But he wanted to see how many other people would be for the idea. I called a few people trying to bring them to buy into the idea. It was me who was calling people. And those people that I called, I'm sure they are watching and they are saying it's true. I called people myself. It's me who was calling people. Uh-uh. It was me setting the agenda. But Katwishi Valungu Fia but there was, I think, I believe there was an interaction somewhere, you know, with the um, Jakai Kikwete. I think there was some, some, some interaction. Anyway, whatever it is, Hibalungu pulled back. He called me and he told me. I remember very well, we were standing outside in the night. He told me, I am not interested. And on that day, on that night, I told him, I said, no, in a country, I will support Mundubire. And I came out and started running the Mundubire agenda. I humbly want to say, even the Mundubire agenda, I started it. I started the Mundubire agenda. I went and spoke to Mundubire. Mundubire again was like, no, what, what? He was not too excited. Mundubire is not an ambitious man. Mundubire is not a man. He's a man. Uriya Mundu. Ali Tekanya and Aliba, you know, is quite wise man. I told him no. Ndala to take. It's me again who went to Kuriba Mundubire and he pushed Wa Mundubire. He was very reluctant because even him, he was thinking to say, no, I think uh, Edgar Lungu can run for it. Can run for it. And anyway, there were other things which I can't, which I'm not going to disclose. Mundubir and other things, I'm not going to go to there. But at least I went to Mundubir and put him there. And Mundubir told me, yes, there are other people who have also said that. There are other people who have approached me. I said, yeah, go for it. And that is how I started. Mundubir, 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 Mundubir. That agenda was flourishing. I brought the agenda. Mundubir didn't call me to say, Tayari, can you start campaigning for me? He didn't. It's me who went to Mundubir. You see? Setting the agenda. After that, again, there was a change of mind. There was a change of mind where now Walungu wanted to come back. There was a change of mind. There was a change of mind where Walungu saw that he can come back. And on that one, I started now running the agenda. I started running the agenda. I started running the agenda. Now, I'm going to pause there and go back to say, at the moment, we have been having serious challenges, serious challenges in terms of the economy. And this is what has prompted a number of leaders wanting to become president. Because of the economic challenges, a number of 
politicians have started jostling for presidency. They have started jostling for president because it looks like anyone who can stand there against Taka in the Ichirema can actually win the day. Because it looks like Haka in the HDM has failed, especially that he had overpromised. He promised a lot of things, and those things are not happening. So a lot of politicians are thinking to say, if I can just stand, I would get it. That's what they are thinking. That's what they are thinking. The question that I'm asking is, with these economic challenges that we are having, and all those who are saying, I want to take the mantle of leadership. The question that I'm asking, do they really have the solution? Do they really have the solution? This is the question that we should be asking ourselves. Look around among all those. Our labor, no, I want to be a leader. I want to be, I want to be president and so on and so forth. The question that I'm asking you, do you think they have the solution? Do you think they have the medicine to our economic sicknesses? Do you think all those other landers, including myself, including myself, do you think we have that medicine to our economic sicknesses? Do you think we have the solutions? This is what you should be talking about. Whatever, whatever. All of you. I know a lot of us, we, we are very upset with what the way things are going on. The question that I'm asking is that in our frustrations, in our frustrations, that things are not going right. The question is, do you think that whoever you are talking about, whoever you are chanting to say, Ndefwa, whether ni Lungu, whether ni Mundubile, whether ni Fred Membe, whether ni KBF, whether ni GBM, whether ni Kambuidi, whoever, do you think they have the solutions? Do you think they will come and get in and sort out the, the mess that we are going through? Now, I've said it before, that for you to find a solution, you must first identify what the problem is. I've said it before. From my IT background, the biggest issue that we have, we were taught, is diagonizing. Meaning to find the solution. computer First of all, one for you, for you, finish your HTK and whatever, whatever. Once you interact with the user, then you get now to start checking because at least that interaction will give you an idea on what you should touch. So before you look for a solution, you must be able to frankly face the problem. Even on a personal level, even on a personal level, you must first of all identify the problem. Before you find the solution, because we are full of emotions. We are full of emotions. Even some women, you find that, ah, me, I'm getting divorced. I'm divorcing this man. Divorce, you have any solution. But what is the problem? What is the problem? Some of you, some of you, especially, some of, especially women, because women, they are the majority in, you know, breaking marriages. A lot of women, they like to say toxic marriage, hey, what, 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 toxic marriage, hey, toxic man, hey, toxic, whatever. But what about you? What about you? What kind of a person are you? Maybe you are the toxic person. Maybe you are the one who should change. Most of the times we like just to point fingers. Hey, 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 hey. But what about you? Before you start talking about your friend, what about you? What is the problem? When you don't look at the problem, when you don't face the problem, you will definitely bring in a useless solution. At garbage in, garbage out. That's what it is. Garbage in, garbage out. So, if we look at our country, let us be honest, Zambians. This is what I'm begging you tonight. I am begging you, if you are patriotic, if you love our country, please, let us be honest. Let us discuss our economic challenges honestly. And tonight, if you think about our economic challenges, what is the problem? Is that kind of the problem? Of course, even myself, I've I've said that kind of HNMA I've said that kind of HNMA should resign. I've said that kind of HNMA, let's impeach that kind of HNMA. But to be honest with you, those are just politics. Taking advantage of some of you naive people. Those were just politics. But the real truth is that 
the challenges that we have without shan shan if and ever nindeka i've stopped supporting upnd i've support i've stopped supporting pf if you go to the majority pf they want to show that upnd has failed because they were kicked out they want the zambian people to regret having had voted out pf so today by pf they can never want to see anything positive in upnd and they will not want to say problems as they are they would want to exaggerate they would want to bring in even what is not there because mwari bakana it is good as uliyo mwana kashua kukana aya upwa kumbi a lady who refuses you or who who dumps you goes to another guy you will always want to hear that uh, uh, that girl is suffering for one thing or the other that's when you feel good you will never appreciate the other man you will always look for faults that is the same situation with pf pf at the moment would we will not want to say anything truthfully they will exaggerate it they will bring in all sorts of things even what is not what it is because naturally they want to look good they want to look good they want to look good they want to look that they are better than than you pnd but if you remove politics and you speak as a patriot like i'm doing right now i'm speaking as a patriot not looking at upnd not looking at uh, the pf i'm speaking as a patriot speaking for what is good for our country and what is good for our country is that at the moment we are having challenges and we have to find a solution the issue is these challenges that we are facing what is the problem is it aka in the hdma is it upnd of course totally we cannot aka in the hdma is in state house is the one leading the country P UPND is the one leading the country so they, we cannot absorb them of all wrong but truth be told it is not everything that is on baka in the hdm na na upnd yabo truth be told it's not everything some of these things na bena baisangire mo fie they have found themselves in it and there is nothing that they can do like i have said before even no more chicken dumbo spoke about this i was very happy with the with the video that Ken Dumbo made he even did a bit of research here and there which is very good and i'm sure a lot of you if you were to do a little bit of research like Ken Dumbo did you would agree with me that the economic challenges we are facing in a country they are um, by, by and large contributed uh, or, or brought by the, the the external factors particularly the war that is in ukraine the 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 the, the, the oil market the, the the oil producing countries politics and of course the cold war between between china and the china and the america or western countries so so to say this is what is playing this is what is glo- this is what is all over globally that war in ukraine is not a war between russia russia and the, and the, and ukraine no that war is about trying to who is controlling the world that is what that war is all about that is what that war is all about america the western countries are busy fighting on this side of ukraine a defeat on ukraine is like a defeat on the western countries look at where it started from it started on nato it started on nato russia said no you can't be part of nato who is nato nato is the the the, the western countries military and he he said no you can't be and this guy are saying no 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 who are you we we want ukraine to be part of us so that is affecting is affecting us as you know that i mean those two countries i mean contribute a lot to world production of fertilizer as well as uh, grain they also control you know they they are on the sea side you know the black sea there which brings a lot of things into africa we have the black sea a lot of things passes through the black sea coming into into africa so there is also a trade route involved so these challenges have affected us big time the cold war between america and china has also affected us 
China is on the side of Russia. And China is saying, you know what? You are giving uh, arms to, to Ukraine. So we are going to fix you. So this is affecting us as small countries. It is affecting us as small countries. This is the truth. It is not Haka in the Ichinema. And by UPND, by UPND, people are saying, Tari, you have been heard, you have been heard. I wish by UPND you could hire some of us. We help you. We help you. I really wish by UPND you could hire some of us. Because, well, hey, hey, a mouth for her, a mouth for her. I really wish you could hire us. Because really, sometimes, the way you disseminate information, I mean, it's so far that recently we have been talking about these global issues, that you are also talking about it. President Akainde Ichilema was going around speaking Pamarari Ziaria. All you could do is to blame PF. And that was a mistake. I was listening to those, uh, to those rallies. Wherever he went, he's like, no, PF did this, PF did this. That is a mistake by UPND. It is a mistake by UPND to always point at PF. Because these problems we are facing, it is not even PF. That is a fact. By UPND, you think, by over-politicizing over things, you think you are helping yourself, but you are also shooting yourself in your foot. It was very wrong for Baaka Inde Ichirema and his government to continuously talk about PF when actually the problem are not even that they have not even been brought by PF. The problems we are facing is not PF. Look at you. You are also borrowing. You have been borrowing and from the records you have borrowed even more than PF. You have borrowed more than PF, but you are busy. Almost hey, PF, hey, PF, politicizing things, making things wrong, making things worse. So you have made a mistake by UPND by lying. The problem with you by UPND, you lie. And that is a problem. You have contributed to messing up the, you know, the, the mind, the narrative by lying. You should have told the people the truth. It is not PF who has caused these economic challenges. Eh? We are sorting out the problems that they, that they, that they, they caused. Eh? That this man, a minister of, of mines, at stretching every put, every put in Shimulechina, every put in Shimulechina. These problems are not caused by PF. These problems are a global global challenge many countries are facing these challenges and this is the truth and if only you can tell the truth you will even find the evidence ghana was 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 demonstrating eh? dada akufo ano is in problems he is in problems people are, are rioting malawi people were rioting kenya ruto is in problems ruto ale piba is in problems. People are rioting. South Africa, it is tense there. Syria Ramaphosa is in problems. Munangagwa is in problems. These are global problems. These are world challenges. Why don't you tell the people the truth? And in end them yewe fishing ka. But you PND, leken you kube pa bantu bufi. Tell the people the truth. The truth will set you free. The truth will save you. Vahaka Inde Ichilema was very wrong to go on the platform and start telling people at no in Congolesha. No, no, no. And this problem is continuing. It is this problem is not ending. You got debt restructuring. You got debt restructuring. If you got debt restructuring, why hasn't Midimu gone down? Why hasn't fuel gone down? You got debt restructuring. And some people are saying debt cancelling. De even if we have debt cancelling today, even if we have debt cancelling today, we our country, our debt is wiped out zero. I can assure you, Ubungata Wakawere. Even if we have debt cancellation today, I can assure you, uh, fuel will not go will not go down, because we are not producing fuel. We are not. So these are the real challenges. And if you are patriotic, you need to tell the people the truth. 
and in the name of Ifishinka. This is the truth. Not if you are a UPND, or you are PF. Not if you are a PF, or you are a UPND, or you are a UPND, or you are a UPND, or you are a UPND. Listen it from the public lawyer. Public lawyer telling you the truth as it is. We are having challenges. Britain, I was just listening to the speech of the prime minister there. They are subsidizing people. They are telling them buy utuma bonds and they will be giving them, you know, so much uh, interest. That is another way of cushioning them. That is another way of cushioning them. Joe Biden is in problems because, you know, uh, uh, who is this guy? Donald Trump is carcassing them, saying this guy is a useless guy. Shan, shan, economy is bad. What, 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 what? And people are even saying, even in America, they are saying, no, when, when, when Trump was there, the economy was stronger and whatever, whatever. Hello? Those who are in opposition, they are using this to malign or to, to campaign to gain some political mileage over those who are in government everywhere in the world. They are doing that. But the truth is that these problems are not really by the people that are in government. It's not, it's not true. And I want to tell you that you see, some of you, but they will come and they are coming to, to cheat you. That no, things will be okay. Hey, how will you to cheat me? I want to tell you, the situation as it is, but I'm, 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 I'm swearing, the situation would have been worse off. I wish I was The situation we are in is far much better off than if we had Balungu. This is a fact, and then yeah, this is a fact. Balungu, if Balungu was leader by now, we are far much better off na HH. Not because of himself. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Not because HH is a genius. Uh -uh. No. If anything, HH is not doing well. HH has not capitalized on the goodwill. HH has got goodwill. Things are better off in Zambia because HH has goodwill. HH has goodwill. Edgar Lungu had no goodwill. He had no goodwill. China Even China, don't let us not cheat here that Edgar Lungu had such a good, warm relationship with China. No. Let us not lie. Let us not lie. If HHR, if Ed Galungo had so much good relationship with, with China, why didn't China help them to campaign? Why didn't China pump in money? China, why didn't China pump in money? Eh? Why didn't China pump in money? Even now, Mulilanda Chalebu, Takuli Mpia. If China really had that confidence in Haka in Ed Galungo, they would have given him money. They would have even invited him. They would have even invited him. They would have invited him. Xi Jinping would have invited him come to China. They, have, they would have invited him. So don't cheat that no, Ed Galungu had goodwill. Ed Galungu didn't have goodwill. Ed Galungu had lost goodwill. So things would have been very bad. Because of goodwill, cover HH. But he is also not really grabbing that goodwill. He says he's a good negotiator, he's a good marketer. No, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not a good marketer. I'm sorry, I'm not here. I'm not I'm not here. I'm not here. Real situations as they are. He's not a good marketer. Why do I say he's not a good marketer? He doesn't ask for the things that are needed. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't know what really is needed. He has got friends. Good friends. But he doesn't know what to ask them. He doesn't. Me, I'm a good marketer. I'm better off. Why? I told you that I set the agenda. And then I look for people to come in. People don't call me tayari. Trevor took payroll, payroll, so on and so on. I set the agenda. And then I talk to people. They come in. 
Some of you are saying, hey, hey, now, hey, legal fees, who is paying legal fees? You are saying, takwe tamaligo, whatever, whatever. Yes. Yes. Takwe tempia. Yes. Because those lawyers who were coming, when I was fighting, each time I'm going to court, ndakwe tamal lawyers. Do I pay those lawyers? No, I don't. Because I fight for a cause and I bring in those who have got of the who are of the same interest. That's how I have those lawyers. The moment I flipped, and even those lawyers have gone. Because I've changed the agenda. I've changed the agenda. That's how I lost those lawyers. But now this agenda, I've got this other agenda, this agenda which I've started. Other people are interested. And they are paying for those lawyers. They are paying for those lawyers. I am here because I've got an agenda. And those who agree with that agenda, now I become Europea. And that's how I'm able to, to fly. And I'm able to be in this hotel. I'm a good marketer. I am just a boy with nothing. But I am able, how is it that I'm able to fly? How is it that I'm able to be in this hotel? It is because I am able to draw people. I'm giving you an example. Bahaka in the Ichirima, he has got goodwill, but he is not marketing it well. He's not marketing it well to bring in things that will benefit the country. What are those things? For example, we are talking about you know, commodity prices, commodity prices and whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, Zambia, I was with somebody on the plane and he told me, he said, you see, Zambia is, very, is an easy country to manage because all Zambians eat in Shima. Zambia is different from these other countries where you find that the staple food is different. In one region, Valeria rice. In one region, Valeria mata. Valeria, you know, they are eating uh, miri meal. In another region, they are eating they are eating bananas. You know, he said Zambia. It's only mess. Now, so Bahaka in the Ichirema, at the moment, he has got this goodwill, and what we are struggling with is basically we don't have maize. That is what we are struggling with. That is what we are struggling with. But with the goodwill that Baaka in the Ichirema enjoys, are you sure you are telling me he can't find a country that can be able to uh, supply us with maize? Are you sure? I am very sure that Baaka in the Ichirema can actually mobilize some country that can bring in maize into our country. Stock up. Stock up. Eh? You remember during the time of uh, Avena Chiruba? Eh? Avena Chiruba. Nanani Kano. Eh? Who, who is this one? Uh, Deepak Patel. Na, na, na Guy Scott. Na Guy Scott. Guy Scott, because Usungu Bwakwe, you know, he had that goodwill because he was a vice president. Not Guy Scott. No, no. no, no. Yeah, he, 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 was, um, he, he was the agriculture minister by that time. He was agriculture minister. He was a minister in Africa. He managed to bring in yellow maize in Zambia. Even now, why can't Waka in the the good marketer that he is, why can't he influence some other countries to bring in maize into Zambia? Why? Because just that can help. Of course, we need to close the borders, that's for sure. But if we flood the market with maize, Miri meal would be at least reduced. And we need that. Failure to having cheaper maize on the market, we will continue having escalating prices. I am a solution, Valeria and Dabaka in the HDM. No, um, uh, we are paying farmers more and we are going to grow more maize and whatever, whatever, whatever. Those are not solutions. If, if farmers are going to, if uh, uh, millers are going to buy maize at an expensive price, how do you expect them to sell it cheaper? How? So what can only help for me is bringing more maize. And we have got countries, grain is not a problem. We have got countries that can flood the Zambia with maize. That is, that is even... If, even in Tuan uh, who went there, who, who was promised the uh, uh, Ruto recently met uh, 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 the president of Ukraine and they promised him maize. 
They promised him maize. They are going to send maize into, into Kenya. Why can't Vaka and Ichirema do that? Vaka and Ichirema is a darling of those kind of people. He's a darling of them. So anyway, the point is, the point I'm trying to make here is that if Mumfuik Shasanap, I want you to really get me right. Don't be cheated, Zambians, my fellow Zambians. Don't be cheated. If President Edgar Chagolung was president or had won the election, things would have been bad. It would have been bad. This is a fact. It would have been worse off. It would have been worse off. We are better off because we are kind of HDM. That goodwill brings in it's not much, but it helps. Because kuleba kutuma commitment to tu shani shani, oh shani, ka emoyu, what, what, what. These tuma commitments are cushioning us. But they are not enough. Bahaka in the need to do more. Needs to utilize his goodwill. And at the moment, we don't have one leader that has the goodwill that Haka in the has. We don't have. Don't be cheated. So don't think, ah, well, ale yafi, ale yafi, ale yafi. Mm -mm. So number one, that is good will. Number two, changing a government is an expensive venture, Mwebandu. Mwila Ivepa. Don't be cheated. Changing government is an expensive venture. Removing Haka in the HDMA today, we will need to fire the army commander. We need to fire the, 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 the inspector general. We need to fire banani, banani. All that is expensive. And these people, but what are terms of conditions? So when you remove them, you pay so much. And apart from that, these people who are now there in government, they are making connection. They are learning ropes. They are learning how to do things. Even Frank Tayari in our number, you know, he was never a minister. Now he's a minister. So now he's also getting lines how to do things. He's learning ropes. Even Vaka in the Ichirema is also learning ropes. Vaka in the Ichirema of last year, uh, October, is different from Vaka in the Ichirema of today. He has more connections. He has gotten into more connections, connections. So, capacity is being built. In other words, capacity is being built. Capacity is very important. If you want to develop as a country, a country will never develop if every day le romwa chinja, le romwa vika poyu, le romwa vika, you are not building capacity. Capacity is only built by experience. Capacity is only built by experience. So if you are thinking that no, you can keep on trying leaders, le romwa vika poyu, le romwa vika poyu, le romwa vika poyu, today it's this one, tomorrow, I'm telling you the country will never move. If you have seen countries that where leaders have stayed in power for a longer time, those countries are doing well in Africa. They are doing well. In Tuankan, look at a, a, a Kagame. Our Sungu, they can say whatever they want. Western countries will talk about democracy and whatever, whatever. But if Kagame was not president, if they were changing presidents in, in Rwanda, I'm telling you, Rwanda would not be what it is. Go to Libya. Libya was doing so well when he, Gaddafi was there because Gaddafi was there for a long time. Look at the Arab countries, Kumulukulia, eh? Egypt, Shan Shan. It is because they, their democracy was different from this democracy that Bazungus are teaching us. So, this idea of, so no, no, we, we are a democratic country. Hey, we should change. Hey, we should change. Hey, we should change. When you are just changing governments every now and then, you don't build capacity. You don't. So for me, Uriaka in the as much as he has got all these weaknesses, for now, me, I'm saying, let the man continue. He's building capacity. And the best that we should do, the best that we should do, those of us who are in opposition, because we are the ones that talk, it is not to take advantage of these economic challenges. It's me to become president. Because this is now what we in opposition are doing.
We are taking advantage of these challenges. We want now to come back. Balungu balefa wabwedelepo. Because now wamuna chapu alala, chapu alala. Na mwewe na zambe mwepunda. Hey, democracy, democracy. Hey, we will see. We will come and vote you out. We are not building capacity. And those people that you want to vote for, do they have capacity? Do they have what it takes to do what you want them to do? This is patriotism speaking in me. Not a politician, but patriotism, somebody who loves my country. Do they have what it takes? These people, they are taking advantage. Valungu, vamona ukuchura kwa vena Zambia. Vamona ukuchura kwa vena Zambia. Eh, mulefu ambwele lepo? Eh, mulefu, do you want me to come back? Do you want me to come back? I'll think about it. Is is hoping, is hoping he wants to capitalize on the challenges that are going on. But in Gamawe Pshabalungu to say, Finchi Mukesa Chita, Uwunga Mukabu Wesha Shani, Fertilizer Mukai Wesha Shani, Fuel Mukai Wesha Shani. How are you going to reduce these commodities that we are talking about? How are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? Who is going to help you? Who is going? Who are you going to engage? Alamuevan too. Let us be real. Let us be real. Let us, let don't allow politicians, the selfishness of politicians, to use you Zambians. That's why they are just shouting. They just want to, you know, to to get there. They just want to get there to get there. Once they get there, for them they will be fine. They will be okay. But you and I, for them all they want is to get power. Balungo all he wants is to get power. Nothing else. He wants to get power. But then does he have the solutions? He doesn't have. He doesn't have the solutions. I can assure you. I'm challenging you. Imumwe Hey, Start telling us what Balungu will do. How Balungu uh, is going to reduce the price of fuel. Let Balungu tell us how he's going to reduce the price of millimil. You are comparing. You are comparing. Eh, Muriba PF, eh, Fiarifi, Muriba UPND Firifi. Are you have you looked at the circumstances? Have you looked at the circumstances? But you, but, but you, PND, you have even failed to respond to these issues where people are saying, no, Haka Inde Ichilema promised that fuel will be 10 kwacha. I know even me, I used to say that. I was doing politics. But the truth of the matter is that when Haka Inde Ichilema was talking about 50 kwacha, there was no war in Ukraine. When Haka Inde Ichilema was talking about 10 kwacha, the Cold War that we have now between Biden and Xi Jinping was not there. So the circumstances have changed. Circumstances have changed. Yes, he said what he did, what he said. But the circumstances, there are factors that are around which even if he wanted it to be sold at 10 kwacha, it is not possible. The factors that we have now are totally different. The circumstances that we are living in now, when, when Haka and HDM was making those promises, are totally different than now. But has Vaaka in the Ichirema got the courage to come and tell you that? He skates around such questions. He's not able to respond. He's not able to tell people to say, look, yes, I made you this promise. But unfortunately, the situation that we are in is this one. It's like we ulefu ayomu anakashi. And you tell this woman to say, if I marry you, I'm going to buy you this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. But when you get married, you find that your company has gone under liquidation and you are laid off. Are you telling me you are going to fulfill those things that you promised a woman? Eh? Maybe maybe you haven't heard. Let me go back. You have look, you are proposing a woman. Eh? You are proposing a woman. For example, you know, Elena Lefwa, Elena Lefwa Vanakia. Elena Lefwa Vanakia. Kwaliba PF. And I'm telling you, this is the truth. Eh? When I was pro when I when I met my wife and I started contemplating marrying her, I considered the number of things. I said, hmm, 
Ababa ntubali shupo kusunga. Mwadishipa hili enkanda hili. Yadi wako ya shupa. Tababa chipi. Bali kwa takwa kamutengo. Ifi akuli ya shani, shani. So. Yeah. Na ingiri la mo. Kwa wano tuma ya ticket, shani, shani. So. Na na ingiri la mo. How am I going to manage? Will I manage to look after this woman? Believe you me, I used to talk to my friends. Before I got married, I used to talk to my friends. Iwe. Na tumina ko iwe. Shani, shani. Eh, uh, ukang, uh, no, no, to catch but they, they, they were promising me that no, actually we'll give you, you know, something, we'll give you a business, we'll give you a number of things. And of course, now this I pump, I married my wife. But later on, what happened? PF is out of power. PF is out of power. Those business opportunities I was looking for, they never came. They never came. So now, I could have been promising. Good enough, I didn't promise my wife anything. That like she can say, no, no, I didn't promise my wife anything. But imagine I was promising my wife. And now PF is gone. Kaiza Zuru is gone. Nan Nan is gone. All those people that I was hoping that Kutiba Ampera Kutuma business opportunities, they are gone. Are you telling me my wife would be fair with me to say, Iwe, when I was in Ethiopia, you promised me that you're going to buy me a Range Rover. Would she be reasonable? Would she be reasonable? She wouldn't be reasonable. She wouldn't be reasonable. It is the same thing with Waka in the Ichirema. When Waka in the Ichirema was saying all those things, things were different. Things were different. The people that you were you was counting on, you was counting on America. America is also having its own problems right now. America is having its own economic challenges. Do you hear the ambassador boasting around? No, we are giving so much. America used to give a lot of money. But do you see? They are pulling back. They are pulling back. They are pulling back. They are cutting, 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 cutting the head that they were giving. So circumstances are different now. The problem, they don't have the courage to tell the people the truth. Tell the people the truth. You can't deliver. You can't give people 10 kwacha fuel. It is impossible. You can't. Circumstances are different. There are factors which are at play now, which were not there then. They were not there. Tell the people the truth. So, nangumlanda tishan 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 ndaro resha, ndara ngakutu chitahaya. Kutu chitahaya ifuwa ukulando kuchitahaya. Ukulando redefintu. Ah. Kutuwa womba. Kutuwa womba. Eh? Nomba. <laughs> Ngani wa UPND. Wa UPND. Baba kwa tini basa. Tina isula. No one can come in. No, the bus is full. No one can come in. Mulewa tinsha ishi. Why no? That's how you are. That's how you are. And yet, you are struggling with things that you are not even supposed to be struggling with. These issues of commodity prices, you shouldn't have failed to explain to people because it is not in your hands. Those promises that Akainde Ichirema made, they shouldn't have been very difficult for Banalumango to explain in parliament. But it's because you are behind. You are not able to articulate issues properly. If I shafe, yes, I am a politics. Ah, come naya. No, Mbapa. That's why I said, ah, in an index, I'm not fighting for PF. I'm not fighting for UPND. I am fighting for the Zambian people. And I'm telling you the truth so that we look here, so that you can open your mind. Because once we open our mind, then we can start looking for actual solutions. Actual solutions. As long as we don't know the truth, as long as we start, we keep on skating, avoiding the truth. We will not find the solution. We will not find the solution. We will be looking at wrong things as solutions. We will be looking at Balungu at is a solution. Balungu solution, Imwe. Balungu solution. Eh? <laughs> so, let's look at the real solutions. No, Haka Indaf Mepo. Haka Indaf Mepo. Who is going to come there? Everyone feel like Kerina Nan can now live with it. We never have time for it. But you see, it is out of thinking. Okay, but Nangundera and that HHF Mepo, Balungu Vesepo, Walore Shawalungu, Shawalungu Tivakwanisha, Wamona Tivakwanisha, Efon Pidiwukide. 
That's how I change him. That I don't know. Hmm. Aba. Eh? Because um, that about change a child, you must even have people around you who could take a child. They, they chop. It's not easy. Eh? They chop a pio. They chop one oseka. Ufido akwata abantu inkume kume. Inkume kume abantu abalo ndoloka. Oka tinga balo lishati yo pad pad kwa domu tuwa. Number um, that. But long even when he was in the state house, he was surrounded by renegades. Renegades, I'm sorry. He was surrounded by renegades. You know some of these people. He was surrounded by those people. So what advice could they give him? That's how they even lost power. Even now, Valungu, who is surrounding him? Bebati, you'll be judged by your friends. You think me, I can be part of that group? Eh? You think I can be part of that group? Eh? <laughs> I can't be. I'm sorry. I can't be Mdara. I can't. I can't. I want when I sit with people. That's what I want. Not these people. Ah, imwe na imwe. So, this agenda, na mumpata, you are hating me. Hey, you are talking about alewe la po, alewe la po. Hey, stop talking about balungu. Mm -mm. It, will be, it will be a disaster. It will be a disaster. And okay, fine. You know, balungu has got the right if he wants to come back, he has got the right. He has got all the right to come back if he wants to come into politics. He has got all the right. But why Why is he doing our politics? Why? Why is he doing our politics? He has got the right. No one is stopping him. No one. I haven't heard anyone who should who said, no, he shouldn't come back. Yes, I know by a church body and dirty. And if you wear a po, to a rica po, a recutumpa, he was doing my politics. My politics here. My politics here. So, umuna venga chama politics here. Now, who is a chama politics here? Who is a chama politics here? Ni counter. You don't, muma politics, muma politics, it's a game. And they say, don't make excuses when. Your friends make the move. More come for a In poli politics, is a game, and they say, "Don't make excuses when your opponent makes a move." So, if your opponent plays a fast one in politics, it is, it is, it is a weakness. For you to start complaining to say, "How How can he tell me this? How can he say this?" Counter with a political move. Counter with a political move, Mdara. If we have a politics, you don't start complaining. Oh, we, hey, Anjebefi, Anjebefi, hey, Alandefi. No, 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 no. I'm a politics. If we have a If I say you can never be a president, you should counter that statement to show that actually you can be a president. In the midst of counter, in the midst of counter, in the midst I respond to you. I respond to you. you. Do you hear me having excuses? Do you hear me say, no, I'm police. Hey, shan, shan, let's go to court. I don't do that. Because that is not part of politics. That's not part of politics. Even when I'm arrested, my reaction, it is also political. Ngamwanjikata, nganaisa afuma, kula, ndana, landana, landana, mitoba ula, mitoba ula, because... You have hammered me politically using your power. You have hammered me politically. Mwanjika ta mwansenda mwantwala kuna nikane atikwisa kulia. Eh kulu kulu. You take me in rukuru mdara. Mwantwala pa. Mwamfwa kuno because you have got power. Na nyinji kalamu ya nkabato bashani. Ndefu mamu ya mdara nafuma eh nakupona ka picture walking mumpanga showing trying to gana Public sympathy. He died of a churi lefi. And there is a man. He said, he said, he said, my politics. My politics. So, Valungu, 
He doesn't have it. When I say Valungu doesn't have it, he doesn't have it in him. He can't. He can't have it. He doesn't have it to counter politically. He has got all the right. Why is he not coming out? Why is he not coming out? We all know he wants to come back. He wants to come back. We all know. We all know. Even if you Nangufio are naive. Eh? But surely you can see that Balung wants to come back. A journalist asked him, Mr. Pre uh, uh, Your Excellency, what did you say uh, uh, to people who are saying that you want to come back into political power? How does he answer? You want me to come back? You want me to come back? You want me to come back? Happy to put a question. I'll think about it. I'm about my politics. Eh? Those are not politics, Mdala. Those are not politics. Awa kashuwa wawe kata. Bani mchifungo. Ere waikara ule diyama orange. Ule nwana tuti. Awa politics kulanda. Kuchikafia. Kuchisenseka. He doesn't have it. Valungu he doesn't have it. Somebody was giving an an example. You know. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. They are victimizing him. And they are making him popular. You think he. Valungu is anything like Donald Trump. Valungu ndemye wa Valungu. He has no influence now. Trust me, he doesn't have the influence that HH commanded when he was in opposition. And certainly you cannot compare the influence that Donald Trump has. Because when people treat you in a certain way, it is up to you now to react, to counter that political move. Being arrested as a politician is a political move. It's a political move. You have to counter it politically. But Valungu can't counter. He can't counter. He's nothing compared to Donald Trump. He's nothing. He's nothing compared to Donald Trump. And he doesn't have it. Valungu na pano pene ndela nda soba kapoko langa wale fuwa kutiwa apanga nda wale kata. Nothing would happen. Tapadi, epo badi. Tapadi, opo wemini ne walungu. Tapadi. Ndemi. So, he doesn't have it. He just doesn't have it. Much as he's seeing ama weaknesses, yamu economy, and he thinks he can take it. But he can't fight. He can't fight. That's why ndemi, those of you who are fighting, eh, fighting, 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 be careful when you are fighting. Because you end up in problems and Valungu will not come and help you. He has got all the right. But clearly, he doesn't have what it takes. For a point in the Pangap, he has the right to come back and he's actually eligible to contest. Valungu is eligible to contest. But he himself, he doesn't have what it takes to fight for presidency. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. And, okay, fine. He wants to come back. And he really wants to come back. What about Emma benefits? Should we continue paying him Emma benefits when we know he wants to come back? No. No, I want you to listen to me very well on that point. Listen to me very well on that point. Valung wants to come back into power. If he wants to come back, should government continue paying him Taxpayer's money. I know you will respond by saying he is a former president and therefore is entitled. The framers of the law, they said the one who should be paid should not be active in politics. That's what they said. Should not be active in politics. What does it mean to be active in politics? You should not hold political office. You should not vie. You should not vie. You should not have intentions of contesting an election. On both of these two, Valungu is still a president of PF. He's still a president of PF. Yes, some of you are saying, no, he filed in a letter. There is a letter at cabinet. We know about that letter. We know about that letter. But what does the records, what does the records say at Pakra? What is legally binding between a resignation letter, a cabinet, 
and the letter that is uh, the, the, the documents at, at the Registrar of Society. What is legally binding? Because some of you, you are thinking that my case is weak or I don't know what I'm doing. I want to ask you, what is legally binding between a resignation later at cabinet gathering dust and records at the Registrar of Societies as president? What is binding? What is binding? I'm, I'm, I, and I hope, Vamdara Attorney General, you are listening to me because this should help you in responding to us. It should help you in responding to us. It, you have to respond to our letter seven days, and by the time it is seven days, I'll be in the country and we want to go to court. And so, uh, Attorney General, and all of you, Mweba, UPND, Shan Shan Yuko, legal whatever your legal minds i want you to think about it. what is more legally binding a resignation letter at cabinet and the documents at pakra what is legally binding the constitution is saying he should not hold office but we go to pakra we go to register of societies he's a president of pf two years down the line two years down the line so what is legally binding and then the second point I'm saying, he should not be, you know, he should not be uh, thinking of contesting an election. But Garungu clearly, he wants to contest an election. We have seen it in his, in his action. We have seen it in the statements that are coming from uh, a number, uh, several senior PF members, several senior PF members. We have seen it in court documents, Mwa Kesi Yakwa, Yakwa Maosam. In the case of Maosam, but they are saying, no, we have a president. And we, and it, uh, uh, given Rubinda is acting like this because he's drawing powers from the president. That's what they say. PF constitution, they say when there is no president, it should be the secretary general to run the party. Who is running the party? Who has been running the party? So really, when you when you are talking about inner, I don't just stand up and say I'm going to court. When I name at there to court, nishini shwopo njiminine. Not for the one saying that others can sue me, can do, drag me, whatever. But for me to go to court, it means I have researched and I'm sitting on good evidence. That case clearly, government is abrogating the constitution. They are very wrong to pay president. Edgar Chagwalungu, money. We have got documentations. We have got court documents. We have got statements. There is no way Valungu can survive this one. There is no way the Attorney General can give us any argument that we can take to say, no, what we are doing is right. What they are doing, what this government is doing is illegal. It is illegal. Edgar Lungu is still president of PF. Edgar Lungu is still is still empowering people, is still appointing people. Who appoints the Secretary General? Nakachinda was recently appointed. Who appointed Nakachinda? Who appointed Nakachinda? Eh? Who appointed Nakachinda? Where did they get the powers to appoint Nakachinda? Where did they get the powers? And why are they saying, no, don't pay former presidents? Why did the framers of the law say don't pay the former presidents? Listen to this point. Why did they do that? Why they did this is that if government will be paying a former president his dues, if government will be paying a former president his dues and is active in politics, he will be disadvantaging other opposition, other political players. If you say Valungu is a president of PF, and I'm president of Economic and Equity Party. And then there is an election. Then Valungu, because he's a former president, he is receiving fuel, he's receiving vehicles, he's receiving uh, people, and he's receiving a salary. Don't you think that is unfair to me? That is why the framers of the law said they should not be paid when they are active in politics. Because if you do that, you are creating an imbalance. 
there are other presidents who are not getting anything from government. And yet this former president is getting things from government. That is an imbalance. That is why they said you should not be active in politics. You should not hold a position. You should not vie for elections. Because if you do, you it will mean that government is sponsoring your political activities. Government is sponsoring your political activities. That is why I'm going to court. It is not to betray Valungu. Uh -uh. Um, I want to level the playing field. If Valungu is playing politics, let us all be presidents without drawing money from government. That is the, my reasoning and those are my intentions. And I'm very resolved. We are waiting for seven days. As soon as it is seven days, the, if um, the Attorney General does not respond to us in a satisfactory manner, and they don't stop paying him and recover the money because we have to recover the money as well. We are not just saying stop. We want the money to be recovered as well. Because so far, the records are showing that he's the president of PF. And why is cabinet paying him? So that money must be recovered until such a time when he's no longer holding a position of president. At the moment, Valungu holds a position of PF presidency. I, I don't think I can... Let me see. Maybe I can take some calls. Maybe I can take some calls. Maybe I can take some calls so that in case you want to make a clarification somewhere, I can give you that clarification. But we are using a different number for tonight. Tonight we are using a different number because I don't have that other number that I use. So if you want to call me on WhatsApp, just on WhatsApp, you won't be, the goodness is that this today, tonight, you won't be able to, uh, to go through. So you can call me on WhatsApp, and the number that you're calling is an 095 number. You're calling 0955-313885. The number that you're calling is 0955-313885. That is the number that you are calling. You can call on WhatsApp only. The number that you can call if you want to a clarification or anything that you want to say, you can call me on WhatsApp on 0955-313885. That is the number that you can reach me on. 0955 it's a Zambian number. I'm still using a Zambian number. So if you are calling from outside, you can uh, put a code 260-955-313885. If you want, if you are calling um, um, outside Zambia, outside Zambia, but that is a number, that is a WhatsApp number that I'm, I'm, I'm using. I believe that the internet looks fine. So, hello. Hello, good evening. Good, good evening. Good evening. Is this Mr. Tyler? Yes, it is. Mr. Tyler, first of all, I would like to thank you. Mm. My husband is a great follower of you. I am actually not the, a follower. Mm. But he... Okay. Hello. Hello. Sorry. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, Mister Tyler, as I said, mm. my my husband is a great follower of you, and I was tempted to actually follow you mm. and listen to all the speeches which you've been you've been giving us. Thank mm. you. Thank you so much. You're a good representative of the country, of the nation. Thank you, sir. I'm glad that I've won a follower. Yes, you have won a follower, my husband, but not yet me. Okay, uh, please. Mr. What? what Tyler, mm. I live in the UK. Yes. 
but I'm one of the ladies that has been who was in power during the time of uh, the, 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 the former president Balungu. Mm. I stayed in the UK. But mm. Balungu. I managed to pull three plots. Mm. I started building and I have all the evidence. I like it when you say, when you're talking about things and you're you are actually showing evidence. Mm. I've managed to build a very good, um, a very good um, uh, house school, Umaken Konga, which you pull, I know, pull Forex. Mm. However, mm. My auntie must have got from uh, cosmopolitan. Mm. I'm telling you, I've spent a lot of money to try and uh, get the resources to that place. That mm. I employ a man to cut yaba bomba cut ya. I empower a man to cut yaba leva bomba pana nkane pa plot pa mwandi. It's not a small project. It's a, it's a big project. Well, I provide shaba data ba hedge. I'm so glad with the president. I was very happy for him. Aba itche. And they put him up into into parliament. No matter up to now, na much tota ba kwe tabe ngunchalo of which you might know also my brother. Mm. The biggest issue that I have, pali ba tata ba hechech. When are we going to have the roads just from Cosmopolitan to Maken Konga? I drove when I was in Africa in, in Zambia. Just uh, this April gone, mm. I drove from Lusaka to Livingstone. The roads to Southern Province is excellent. The Mumbang, now my lights are to buy the They are excellent, mm. but just that place from the Cosmopolitan Kusa Padia, the roads are so bad. But Dr. Kwaba, now just like when we were mayor, I hope the mayor will be able to make a case for the roads. Now, yes, we are going to communicate now. All has been in vain. Mm. But the formula and that about Tyler, like, it's good. Which by way, by by Konka, by by H H. If it's going to continue on by 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 that about H H. To have any by 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 brother, mm. how is he going to support that about that about the school? And some of the nurses are qualified. That about quite a match to. Even the doctors are qualified. That about quite a match to. If we say we, we come out of the way, we say we are I'm sorry, we have a Zambia and Nandi. We are from South Africa and Shive. We say we come from a cosmopolitan, queer Africa, Macken Konga. There's a very nice university, the Kuria Iama Clinic Officers, of which we can put in here to have income around to Batampo Kulai Kalabuin. I'm a farmer's Kuria Balachuokta, even transfer, I think, in the personal Nadi Manokulima from there. Mm. Just failing to go to Masako to know to take to Makuma orphanages. How can I do that? The roads are bad. Okay. If I just get one truck to come to the place, it will cost me a lot of money. Number one, that about H H. Number one, that about Taira because I'm quite a voice. Mukanzi pushisheko. How are we going to work like that when the roads are still bad? When are the children going to get their jobs? Who put him back up there? Bale, bale, imba no kupita ukamu ya mulusa. Cause they've done it well. When are they going to get at least something? Balungu tatuanda tatabafiro kubweke rapo. That's fine. But that man. But this man, I know that man, brother. Hello? Okay. Uh, um, I've, I've, I've heard you. I've heard your, I've heard your point. I will make a comment later. Let me take uh, some more calls. Hello? We know, we know from Kwai. I'll just speak in Bemba so that I can sp speak freely. Don't don't do it, don't say. Mm. In terms of uh, the economy, like fuel, high prices of commodity, it's mm. everywhere. Mm. Like the government in power should really explain to the people what is mm. going on. Mm. But mm. Problem, but you I know you stand for the people, mm. you stand for what is right, but what is if you have a room, Mala Leta, Tiareta Kakachongo, Muchalo, but you Then, from the way you're speaking, I think there's just something about you and Walungo. 
Mm. She does not quite fair and I feel beef. I don't know what like what is going on. Mm. But if you are shall not know, but body issue you have a long mutant on can you know? Umuntu are quite sad to more no like power cook a small conflict, cook a sender wino. I think body mm. issue you have a long it's a very sensitive issue issue that you daddy. Now I'm from Kwan, I will I will re, I will make a reaction later. All right, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hello? I'm Kwan. Now I'm from Kwan, I will I will I will make a reaction later. Move away from that phone right, so that you can. So okay, thank you. Hello? Yes, please. Hello? Yes, Mr. Tari. Yes, this yes. is uh, Innocent calling. Mm -hmm. Remember, I'm Innocent, I'm you move, move, away, move away from that phone. Okay, okay. I've moved away. Mm. You are getting me now? Yes, yes. Uh, so, I've gotten your point. Mm. And uh, I think I need also to add my voice. Mm. I, I concur with you and I agree with most of your points. Mm. I think we have a very big problem mm. in our country in as much as uh, holding these leaders that we have accountable. Mm. I think in Zambia we have a problem where we, we refuse to use our brains in reasoning. We would rather just follow people as people who are brainwashed mm. and supporting the mediocrity in our country, which is so, so unfortunate. Mm. When you look at mm. the way things are being played by these guys from the PF mm. and uh, the people that are supporting them, you can clearly, um, me, I'm, me, I'm not UPND. Mm. I don't support the UPND. I don't support the PF. Mm. But I look at the politics at a distance and I want to be so independent in my reasoning. Mm. We have a problem with the way these guys, the opposition, are taking things in our country or the way they are reasoning. Mm. You see, there is, there is there's too much politics at play, which is also preventing our country at large to move forward mm. and to progress. This man, called Mr. Lungo, if indeed this man was loved by Zambians as he claims to be right now, or as the PF claims to be right now, why did they vote him out? Why did they vote him out? Are, are they thinking in those areas? Make, make your points first, Mwana. Make your first points first, Mwana, please. Yes, so what I'm trying to say is there's too much politicking in our country and there's so much pulling down effect in the opposition. Mm. I get your point, my brother. Thank you. Hello? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hello? So the number that you are calling... In case you are, you have just joined, in, the number that you are calling is zero nine five five three one five zero nine five five three one three eight eight five. is the number that you are calling. If you are calling from outside, you can put two six zero there as the 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 code, the national code. It's a Zambian number that I'm using. Hello. Yes, hello. Yes, please go ahead. Mr. Tidy, uh, thank you so much for the opportunity, sir. Mm. Mm, if you want to go to the country, so, we are going to go to the country. We are going to go to the country. We are going to be the, pre the president. Okay. It's only one term. Um, he only has one more term. He only has one more term. Hello? Ngakuwe la poba lungu, he only has one more term. Please go ahead. Hello? Hello? 
Hello. Yes, please. I'm quiet. This is Karenga from Mochongwe. Yes, please. Okay. The thing, uh, the move away from your radio there. Move away from your ra from the other from the other phone. Okay. Mm. Uh, mm. Um, so the problem we have in our country and the, is that too much politics but uh, Yes, yes. Whether Montu whether Montu them they will use politics. That anger, that hunger of power is upon our our, our playboys. Mm. The, the other problem is that if you look at the uh, how position they, they have no country is they, they just want the power, not the solutions. I just that area one to say. As a people politicize the, the, the government, let us give alternative. Uh, how are we going? If okay, if we are, we are to remove the president, uh, who is currently at uh, the, the moment now, what, what is our solution? This is how the way we can go on convince uh, our people, but it's not in that manner. The problem, let us remove the politics when it's not needed. At the moment, it is not a problem. But my challenge is in Ninjala. If you want to know what you are getting, you can get So let us just fight that problem. It will come to an end. And that is not the problem that can be just stored in, just within. No. Then the point um, which I have uh, 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 issued up, uh, issued that they, they can even uh, bring from outside the country. I think it's, anyway, I don't know how you can put it, but it's also crucial again. How, okay, how many times are we going to be funded? For how long? It's also, again, it's a challenge. So let us just make it, um, the program, Yemen is other, Thank you, my brother. I've gotten your point. Hello? 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 The number that you are calling is 0955-313885. It's, an, it's a CLZ number, 0955-313885. 3885. Hello? Yes, what are you? I'm going to Hello? Yes, yes, sir. We can hear you. Yes, yes. Our point is that we are going to be here. I'm going to be but otherwise, I'm president. Because if you follow the history very well, I'm going to be a politics. I'm going to be a politics. So I think history is there to, for us to see what, like what has been happening my previous government room. So, Bamdara, Katushinga wa kwata my advisors in she, the best way for him is just to step down. Then, na wala ma wacha randa tiyo ba HH ta wala isa improe ya wanduwa ma I think HH, just in two years, he has employed more than 100,000. More than 100,000. We can talk of 30,000 teachers. You can talk of 11,000. So, in total, you can say, you can say, you can say 100,000 within two years. If you do this, you can see globalized. But otherwise, the man is trying all his best to improve the lives of people of Zambia. Thank you. Hello? I like the other guy who was brief. Please be brief and go to the point. Um, the number that you are calling is 0955 3885. Hello? Hello, sir. This is um, Sonda Chansa from uh, Chilanga. Okay. I just want to remind you that 
us 2026 we are coming with Edgar Sagalungu very good it's a democratic right yeah it's a democratic country we are coming and arekwelelapo thank you thank you my brother thank you mm. thank you it's a democratic right we i mean i me i encourage people to say what they want uh, it's a democratic right hello Hello. Yes, please. Um, good evening, Mr. Fai. Good evening. Okay, uh, Kefas calling. Yes, uh, Mr. Kefas. This is Kefas. Mm. Yeah, I, I wanted just to find to ask you one question. Mm. You, you have highlighted very well that the challenges we are going through mm. in terms of of high crisis is not only in Zambia but it is also in other countries. Mm. You cited Kenya, you cited countries like Malawi, you cited South Africa, many other even uh, even countries. Britain. Mm. But the question the, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah. So the question that I would want to ask you is mm. when you talk about the war in Ukraine, mm. this are the, the price of fertilizer. Mm. And you know very well that the way we grow our maize, government sub subsidizes to small scale farmers under FISIP to grow mm. our maize, mm. and that is the same maize that we use for strategic reserve. Mm. And therefore, the price of minimum year uh, last year or the other day or before the the UPND came in, the price of minimum was. Be a bit uh, much lesser than what it is today. Yes. Can you attribute the price of mil? Yeah. Can you attribute the price of mil mil to the war in Ukraine or between Russia and Ukraine? Again, I ask you a second question. Just quickly, I don't want to waste your time. Mm. How do you entirely look at the cost of? When you know very well, when you know very well, are you able to hear me? I, I, I missed you a bit. Just the last part, the last part, the last part. You, you are the point that you are making. Did you get the point about the 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 the, the price of mil? Yes, mil, yes, that one I got. We grow, the last one, the last one. We, uh, Just the, the last part. Guys, the, the small scale farmers, and these are the farmers. This is the same mess that we use for strategic res reserve, and the price of minimum has not come down. And you attribute that to the to, to the global happenings. Is that really correct? I wanted to make a quick point, which you maybe you didn't get again. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Aha! Uh -huh, thank you. Are you trying to shy away from the fact that because our government has? This IMF uh, plan. Don't you know that these are some of the austerity measures that have been given, conditions given by the IMF that the price of fuel can never come down, that electricity tariffs must increase, that the price, of the, 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 the 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 subsidies that government intends even to scrap off in, in agriculture. Don't you agree that this, to some extent and to the, a very large extent, has a, 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 exacerbated the situation, the cost of living, on the on 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 Zambians, common Zambians like me and any other who is feeling the pinch of this the high commodities? Why are you shining away from this package? Because the IMF conditions came with conditions that has to do with removal of subsidies in areas that have already alluded to. And Thank then you. you say Thank you. this Let me... is not caused by the UPND, I... neither is it caused by the former ruling party. So who are we going to talk to? Who are we going to cry to when we are going through such kind of hardship? If you yourself, you are exonerating the, the UPND, and also you try to tell us that PF is a closed chapter, we can't talk about it, let's just concentrate, and then you exonerate. Okay. I've, 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 I've heard your point. Um, I, I've heard the, the point of my, my brother there. And um, uh, allow me just for, for, for now, quickly, to respond to uh, some of the issues that have come up, especially this last part 
um, um, you know, on, on prices? It's a very good, um, a very good question. Uh, but I, um, I, I want to start with the lady who was talking about the road. Um, I, I, I wish I could make comments, but uh, I think I would, I would let the government respond. I'm sure, Balomfwa, one thing that you can be rest assured of is that uh, when I'm talking, this platform, the people that listen to this platform, the uh, people that matter, People that matter listen to this program. So don't underrate this program. And even when you're making the, those contributions, don't just look at addressing me. Take advantage of this program to even speak to those people who are listening. Because the people that matter listen to this program. The people that matter listen to this program. They listen to this program. So when you are speaking, don't just... Uh, look at me, but speak even to those people that are, uh, uh, you know, you may think they are not listening. They are listening. So the issue of the roads, I I cannot leave it to the, to, to the government. Uh, I don't want to respond for them. I'm not their spokesperson. Just like you like to say, it, no, you know, it's a mouth for hire, whatever, whatever. Uh -uh. So I will let them to respond to that, but I'm sure they have heard your issue. Then there was this sister of mine who said, um, uh, no, these other things we have understood. But this conflict that is between you and President Edgar Shagwalungu uh, might bring problems in the country. First of all, my sister, I want to tell you that there is no conflict between me and Balungu. There is no conflict. We didn't differ. We didn't quarrel. Nothing. Nothing. It is just a change of of, of of mind from my point of view. It's not a change of heart. Uh -uh. It's a change of mind. Meaning, you know, you look at this, you look at this, you look at this, and you're like, mm -mm. if that filipanga sense, from the reason point of view, and you make a different uh, path. So, there is no conflict between me. But for one And I know even himself, maybe these things that I'm criticizing, he might be upset, but really, there's nothing, there's no conflict. For me, my point is very simple. Number one is that Balungu cannot succeed to win an election. I started it, but I, have, I came to realize that Balungu cannot succeed to get power from Haka in the It can't happen, and it will not happen. That is from my point of view. Then, that one is checks and balances on the government. I strongly believe that what, what our government is doing is wrong. Wrong for the country of Zambia. It is unfair to the taxpayers because the Then secondly, it is a disadvantaging us. So it is not an issue of conflict. conflict. It's not an issue of personal. It's not personal. It is politics. It is politics. All I'm doing is politics. But as far as Balungu is concerned personally, I like him, I love him, I respect him. But from the political point of view, I'm saying Balungu cannot manage. So that is the issue. Um, there is this lady. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't miss her phone. When I, uh, when I see her number, I have to pick it. I feel obliged because she's one of the people that has been contributing to this program and I value her contribution. Please go ahead, my neighbor. Hello? 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 Yes, yes. Hello? Hello? Hi, hi my neighbor. Yeah, yes, my neighbor. <laughs> my neighbor, my neighbor, you know, my fiance, my fiance, my fiance, favorite. The, it, you can't have, you can't run away from it. Never <laughs> You know, among my relatives, I tell them that Mufirema was me. Never to play our mobile favorite. So I'm never never gonna move on. I just want to comment on the yes. Yeah, when you said um, uh, UPND has borrowed more than PF did. Yes. Hello. <laughs> 
Hello? Now I have to a phone, but anyway, hello? Anyway, I wanted to respond. Hey. Hello? Okay. Now listen. Mm. Uh, you said the uh, uh, UPND has borrowed more than what PF did mm. in the in the two years that they've stayed in power. Mm. What have they done with that money? That's the question that I want you to answer me. Secondly, secondly, mm. um, UPN, uh, PF. Mm. Hello? Yes, yes. Yes, hello? Are you getting me? Yes. Neighbor? Yes, I can hear you. I can, can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I wanted to say, um, someone said that UAPF was voted out of power. Mm. Uh, why do they want to come back? Mm. Why were they voted out? Mm. I think they were voted out for me because of capitalism. Mm. Yeah, that was the first thing. Mm. Are you getting me? Yes. Yes, they were voted out because of capitalism. Mm. That's a, that, that's the most important thing. Mm. And again, you see, um, later, uh, whenever you are kind of drifting, I like the stance that you've taken. You're mm. not taking sides, mm. but I think don't do well so much on lungu issues. You know, let lungu issues mm. this court what let the Zambian people decide. You see, this is a global, you know, it's a global village. People are able to see what is wrong and what is whatever. Let the UPND, the Socialist Party, the PF battle it themselves. Don't go in their bedroom and like, oh, why like a chinda that? Why like a... That is none of your business, my neighbor. Mm. Let them just do it themselves. No, number, my point. Listen, my neighbor. I, I like you, my neighbor, because yes. you, are, you are objective. And, um, you know, it's not that you favor me. It's not everything that you say here that I like. But I like your diverse, your different mind, you know. I like to hear different people, you know, what they think. So, my neighbor, if we, what I'm, what I'm, at the end of the day, much as I'm not speaking for PF, and I'm not speaking for UPND, I'm also a politician. And yes. so even here when I'm when I'm talking, instead of what in Dali, my politics na ine And when I start an agenda, I, I know. When I start an agenda, inemfo a ira agenda mpaka na fikirisha, mpaka na fikirisha. I dedicate myself. Yeah. Hey, I dedicate myself. So you mean I mean a party mobile neighbor? If I start an agenda on you, but neighbor, ah, mandi, teti monte mo. <laughs> so, party ba lungu ni agenda, ni agenda. You should have visa no office. Ni wa eh. So apa, the only thing that can stop me is their reaction. Hey, mpaka so through you, my neighbor. I feel it's not necessary. No, my neighbor, can necessary? Can very necessary? Can very necessary? I feel it's not necessary. Okay, neighbor, thank you. Can necessary? Anyway, let me respond to. Let me respond. Let me respond to. Okay, my neighbor. Let me respond to this other uh, to this other caller. Uh, okay. This okay, just my Malan Malan Kira Kira Kopana and Kanepari cutting there uh, so that yeah. So I want to respond to this man who is talking about the the high commodity prices in relation to the IMF IMF uh, conditions. I, I I I I I first let me start by saying I agree with you, my brother. I agree with you that the IMF conditions have contributed. 
But you started with the issue of fertilizer to say how are you bringing, how are you relating the issue of fertilizer prices to uh, to the high commodity, to the high prices of millimil. First of all, I have said it here on this program that P UPND made a mistake. Immediately they came in, they opened borders. They started selling the maize that was in the shades. I have said it here, I've not hidden. And even today, I still maintain that that was a big mistake on the part of UPND. UPND, they set this, this problem in motion. Remember, when UPND was coming into power, Ukraine was not happening. It started happening later. But by UPND opened borders immediately. And immediately they opened borders, we started having high prices. Then, Kwaisai Sanombana, Ukraine, Chavana West. Chavana West. Now, on the type on, on fertilizer, fertilizer, it is now that we have built a plant which is able to, which is going to supply fertilizer. And this year is the year that they are trying. Before, we were importing fertilizer. And much of that fertilizer was actually coming from Russia and Ukraine in the Middle East. Na Middle East, Equalifma fertilizer, Yesu. Most of it was coming from Russia and Ukraine. So that is how, when Waka in the HDMI was saying, fertilizer and Kesa Shichapari 250, by the time it was coming in, Nishina Fipena, first of all, Navena, they also made a mistake. They also made a mistake. The mistake that UPND made is that immediately they came in, they wanted to flush out all those that they perceived to be PF. They made a mistake. UPND made a mistake to flush out all those people that they thought they were PF. So they started cutting uh, suppliers of fertilizer, labeling them to be PF. And in their first year, they ended up buying fertilizer more expensively than, than the PF, which made them to even increase the price of, of fertilizer. So that is a mistake which was there. Then secondly, we now had the Ukraine issues, Ukraine-Russia issue. It even became worse. This year, we are hoping that these uh, companies that have come to supply fertilizer, we hope that they, they will be able to manage to supply fertilizer throughout the, 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 the country. Um, I think that is on fertilizer. That's what I can say on fertilizer. So if you want, you can say there is a blame on the UPND, in the way that they handled fertilizer, uh, you know, purchasing, uh, fertilizer contracting when they just came in. And then, of course, the, uh, uh, the Ukraine-China, uh, the, the Ukraine-Russia war. Now, when you talk about the maze, I've already said they opened the borders and they set up, you know, this space of Uvungokuya Pamuru. Now, we are not so food food secure we are not comfortable even as we speak we are not comfortable why are we not comfortable we are not comfortable because the borders but those people who tested the money who tested the money of taking maize into congo into other the neighboring countries it is still there anxiety and then even those other countries they are also looking to zambia to get because Malawi has got challenge, Congo has got challenge, so they are looking to Zambia. So the, the, the pressure for our our staple food is very high from the external countries. It is very, very difficult. It, it, we, are, we have a problem there. And I believe that UPND is not doing very well to stop this smuggling. They are not doing very well. Then the third, the third part is that I think we need some more stock. We need some more stock. You know, we have below a certain level. It becomes difficult. So we haven't reached the, really a level where we can be comfortably okay that we are food secure. And this is where I was saying, HH would have asked other countries, you know, other countries where he has this relationship to supply us so that So the challenge that is really there is that our maize is being sought by neighboring countries and this government is not doing well to close up those borders and inside inward if we in terms of 
uh, even the remember the support program fertilizer came late so there is a mess agriculture is a mess as we speak muri by UPND so i'm not absorbing them of their problems i'm not absorbing them of their problems however i am saying there are global challenges like why is it that other countries want to get maize from here it is because they don't have that is a global problem which is now affecting us because tabakwe they are coming to us and this is how global problems escalate one country doesn't have it goes to another country it causes pressure one country has instability people start running away coming into your country you have refugees you have more population you have to feed them this is how things just escalate so that is what i'm saying and please don't don't make a mistake to think that i'm absorbing upnd of its responsibility completely no no they can do something and in certain cases they would have done better but at the same time it is not everything that we have to blame them like you know they have completely failed i don't think that is that is right that is my position then on imf i agree because imf is a solution but this solution is a solution that i think we were over ambitious we took it too quickly imf is like a medicine but moainwa too much moainwa overdose because even nomuti mufire mwa konka dosage panono 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 not you just drink it a good example is those subsidies that you spoke about for example subsidies in fertilizer imf is saying cut those subsidies and we are having challenges last year people were sharing fertilizer muri ba meda muri ba meda because of imf trying to cut uh, you know the fisc program this year i mean they are talking about the same thing you know and they are talking about removing it completely before 2026 i think that is not a solution that is drinking medicine overdose uh, electricity remember they even said no remove subsidies but they realized that they were actually making a mistake in in reconnection quite badly wesha kono kuwesha so imf yes it is also causing a problem i am one of those people who have actually been saying can we bring subsidies ine as tulifatari i'm saying let's bring subsidies because indeed uh, uh, imf to take it at a go it is poison it is good medicine but to take it at a go it is uh, causing problems i hope i have um, i've answered and somebody was saying they have borrowed money where has the money gone where is the money gone i think these are some of the things that i'm talking about to say we need to build capacity you know sometimes when you have money and itaulaishwa bwino bwino taulaika tika chimona panganda if a woman uh, I, i can give a, I, i can give an example of my 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 wife and i hope uh, Uh, you know somebody will not uh, fault me for that you know when i when i just married my wife she had never been married she was thing with the, uh, her parents now she's in my house it's her house i'm telling you when she goes out to buy things you find that she was buying things like ida cooking oil ida amtengo you know shan shani fintu you know but now she has learned now if she goes to 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 buy cooking oil she she goes for that cooking oil which i mean is reasonable so some of these things ngelio eno mwaisa mpawa kula bo kula bako bo na ushi sometimes and intentionally and i believe this is what is happening with this government but nonetheless i cannot be the one to respond to this they should be able to respond where they have taken the money that they borrowed i hope they are listening and at one point they will be able to respond let me take a few more calls uh, just a few more calls and then i can close it up uh i can close it up i'll just take a few more calls please one minute and uh, we end there one minute one minute one minute the number that you are calling is uh, 09553138385 hello 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 yes yes mr good evening good evening Hi. Hey, I'm calling from Sweden, Norway. Hi. Hi. 
Uh, you know, I, I, I'm just trying to understand one thing here. Mm. Yeah, you know, the thing is, you know, it's like, you know, the, those public lawyers, right? Mm. If you're gonna, um, like, represent yourself in court, who pays the money for you guys? You're calling from which country? Yeah, Sweden. Sweden. Are you Zambian? Yeah. Yes, I'm Zambian. Very much Zambian. Okay, so you're asking if you represent yourself in court? Yeah, as I mean, like you, like the public lawyer, so you go there to the lawyer, you, you're going to present it like a normal citizen. I mean, a Zambian person, that maybe doesn't have money to hire a lawyer. Who pays that money? It's not the government. Okay, so basically for me, like this, when I call myself public lawyer, I basically just, uh, yeah. that is just uh, a term that I've just called myself. I know I'm not a lawyer, but I simply speak for, for people, um, people's interest. But when you talk about representation in court and those lawyers yeah. who uh, represent people without paying, those mostly are from legal aid, legal aid, which is a government department. For those people okay. who cannot afford lawyers, and government is the one that pays those lawyers. We call them legal aid lawyers. Aid. It's a government uh, department. Uh, uh, so I was thinking like the same way you're in the same category there. No, so no. Like you going like you're going to hire for your own lawyer. If you like government doesn't do anything for you, but anyway, you mm. lawyers get that through the government, and anyway, they can present you. Well, in court, the same way, like you represent any Zambian in court, because everyone is entitled to have a lawyer, right? Yes, Free exactly. Free lawyer. Mm. Yeah. But then another question is, it's, it's, it's going to be a quick one. Mm. You know, the thing is, as, as I mean, anyway, as, you know, for me, I don't support whatever, PF, as you pay me, it doesn't matter for me. Mm. As, as I mean, you know, the, the thing was going in through PF was terrible. As Karimanshi, Malusambo, they have to like you know all those rubbish they were talking about their wife they smell so much Zambian salary Karimanchi being like he owned the the, the, the Zambian as a country no it was terrible yeah okay fine the PFD they are shit so but HH again as all those lies like can you honestly tell to people the thing was saying to Bunga Tore Tumona Tuma Pamela and Sala di you understand? But mm. anyway, it hasn't come back to the people to explain exactly what's going on. Yeah. And people are hungry. People, you know, people want food. People want those promises, the maybe. maybe. You know, people now, it's raining season now. People need to start doing something. Thank and you, my Zambian brother. And did what they did. Honestly, it doesn't matter who the president is at this point, honestly. It's just a person that you have a vision can explain to the fellow Zambian people. Thank you, my brother. Thank I you. I think that's the thing. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm. That's the thing. If you can explain. Hello? Hello? Hello. Yes, please. Hello. Hello. Hello, Tayali. Yes, please. Yes. Um, I just wanted to contribute a little bit mm. um, with the happenings back home. Mm. You know, first night. I just took land up by the PF mm. and uh, just um, together with our president, Balungu, mm. how disingenuous they are, you know. Mm. Uh, first of all, I think Vali we have a pedestal where they think that HH should go to them. Mm. But they don't understand mm. that the Wali Lufiania even welding it away. Because every time but PF Balanda, I'd like to own responsibility back into Balufian. Eh. But 